The error that I'm having that's making me think that the camshaft position sensor is no longer working is this kind of a problem. As you can tell, the car is only cranking and it's no longer starting, so I think we have a bad camshaft position sensor. So that's what I'm going to try to check out. So yeah, let me get into the bay, then check it out. Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. So I have a problem on my car. Um, my car is no longer having enough power to pull it. So it's no longer pulling as it used to. So what happened is that I had a timing belt kit uh, changed. The timing belt kit was changed on the 7th month of 2023 and it was changed on 183,600 kilometers. So after that, when I had the timing belt kit changed, when I got into the car and started driving the car, I could feel that the car is no longer having power than it, like it used to. So I started asking myself what could be the problem. Then I started diagnosing the car and found that the problem was the camshaft position sensor and also the crankshaft position sensor. So I found out that they had forgotten to plug the crankshaft position sensor and now they also forgot to plug in the... It seems like they didn't forget but uh, the camshaft position sensor got damaged so now my car is no longer having power so i bought a new camshaft position sensor which i'm going to change right now so let's hope the problem goes away because i cannot afford to have this so i'm not sure if the issue has been caused by any timing problems or what because after the timing my car started losing power very very badly so this is the camshaft position sensor so what, the reason why the car is losing power is because it cannot get signals from the camshaft position sensor so it doesn't know when to open and close the valves and also it cannot fire the spark at the time that it requires to fire them and also it cannot fire it cannot push in enough fuel because the cams are not opening like they used to and the computer is not even getting the signal like it has to so i think the first thing to do is just to unplug the the connect i think i can get into it so this is the camshaft position sensor so what i need to do is just to unplug the the power cable and then uh, i don't even know how i'm gonna film this perfectly because my hands are full Okay, um, the blood has been removed. Just so, uh, so the only thing you need to do is to press this wire and it releases the clip. So now that is off, let me try to get onto this and see. So it's really windy, guys. So please forgive me. I'm trying to get this out. So what you're going to need is a uh, six, number six Allen key or uh, X nut or whatever. So you're gonna need the 6 Allen key to get this bolt out because it's really really tight where it is But luckily for me now it's getting loose. So what I'll need to do is just to remove the sensor So I was able to get it out It's really tight in here So I'm just hoping that I'll no longer see the fault that I'm showing you on right here on screen after fixing this but what I had before is this kind of fault I'll also show you oh this is a T30 so I think it's a T30 I was using the wrong bolt <laughs> let me see oh fuck I dropped my T30 onto the floor oh fuck nigga Okay, let me try to get this out. So, I've managed to take out the bolt. Now, what I need to do is to take out the sensor. So, here is the sensor right here. This is the sensor that I'm holding. So, you just need to wiggle it out. And I hope this fixes my problems because, well... Ah, uh, man. This is a really, really tight spot. Oh, the sensor was filled with oil. 
and it's not supposed to be like this it's really not supposed to be like this so i guess that's why it was no longer able to pick up the signal just a lot of oil so i think it's not supposed to be like this and i don't even know if putting in the new one well there's this much oil is a good idea damn that's a lot of oil out there so here's the camshaft position sensor it's out and it's full of oil so let me just try to dry up the area then put on the new one which is really really making me skeptical because this is still going to happen onto the same one as well onto the new one as well now let me try to get the new sensor in as you can see it is really really clean so let me get this in then see what happens afterwards Okay, so this comes with a ring which seals up the area hoping for a good connection so let me put back the T30 bolt and I'll then start up the car and also scan it and see what happens there so let me get this started by hand which is really tight because I also don't have the proper tools to get it going and this place is really hot so I just hope I get to fix the issue but it seems like it will fix the issue because it was so oily so I believe it could no longer read the, the signal because it was way way too oily and that makes me think that the sensor itself is not damaged but however was just covered in so much oil that it could no longer read the signal so let me just try to bolt it up then start the car and see what happens so what i'm going to use to bolt it back up i'm just going to use a t a t35 because a t25 because the o the one the other one that i was using fell deep inside so i'm no longer able to use it because of that so let me just try to use this one and see if it goes in okay nothing is lost before rushing to replace the camshaft sensor also make sure that you test these two leads right here this is the positive lead and this is the negative lead or also the ground so the the, the one in the middle is the one which sends the signal onto the PCM so please make sure that you test those ones before you replace the camshaft position sensor because sometimes it could be the fact that um, those leads are now oily as you can as you also saw that the camshaft position sensor was also oily so it could happen that oil could find its way onto that place and also causes problems with uh, the readings on the PCM so please make sure that you also try to check whether it's um, that place is getting voltage and if that place is is getting voltage then that means um, you also need to check the fuses after checking the fuses you can also check the um, what do we call this you can also check the what's this yes you can also check the fuses and after that that's when you can maybe check whether the sensor is plugged in correctly so let me just try to start up the car and see if we're getting power and also we are no longer having the fault the car starts up very well but i'm sure we're still going to be lacking power so let me just try to drive the car and see if we fix the issue well i've just finished driving up the car and we still have the same issue so i'm guessing that when they were changing the timing the timing was messed up not so much but maybe that even slight mismatch of the camshaft and the crankshaft might have caused this issue. Because now I've just spent money for a camshaft position sense, but we're still having the same issue. So I'm guessing timing is off because all these problems came after the timing was messed up. So if you also have maybe an idea of what the problem could be, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you. Stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay